Gudis Suba at the Armed Forces Complex in Garkia, Abuja, which houses the defense headquarters and the headquarters of the Nigerian Army, Navy and the Air Force. The military, like many other Nigerians, are coming to terms with the killing of 17 of its personnel. Among the deceased are the commanding officer of 181 amphibious battalion, Ole, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullahi Hassan Ali, the Joint Task Force Commander in Bomadi, Major Gimbu Shafa, and another major and a captain. In accordance with the mourning period, flags are flown at half-mast in all military locations across the country. This is the situation at the defense headquarters, the headquarters of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. Flying the flag at half-mast is a gesture of respect and sorrow for the heroic personnel who have lost their lives in the service of the nation. Also conspicuous is the black armband worn by military personnel mourning the deceased soldiers. Director Defense Media Operations speaks on the significance of a national mourning. It will give us time to reflect. And it should not be just us, it should be the whole nation. We should reflect. We should reflect. Where is it done? Where is it done that he that has come to make peace will just be killed in such a manner, wearing the uniform of your nation? He further sheds light on the killings and its security implications. With what has happened, it only goes to demonstrate the manner in which troops place themselves in arms way in order to protect citizens and restore security in our country. As a result of that, we have now a new set of widows, children without their fathers anymore, brothers or uncles. That said, there is no doubt that when you touch us in this manner, there will be injurious consequences. And that is not to say that the armed forces is not a professional force. On the billboard at the entrance of the armed forces complex are pictures of the fallen heroes, 17 soldiers killed while on a mission to bring peace to two warring communities. The military is asking the public to come forward with useful information which will help ensure justice is served on the culprits. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.